If you're planning on doing any type of fighting, like MMA, kickboxing, boxing, or anything like that, I think one of the most important tips to do is motivate yourself. Like, you know, Conor McGregor, he, he, he goes out and he makes fun of this person to make them feel, you know, like they're, they're nothing compared to Conor McGregor. Then Conor McGregor praises himself, which is motivating himself. Make him look like they're t he's uh, ten times better than his opponent and everything like that. Um, so pretty much motivating is one of the best ways to tell yourself that you can win a fight or you can do anything. You know, oh, I'm going to clean this room. I'm not going to, but shh, shh, don't tell my mom. Shh. Um, <laughs> um. And if, if you can't motivate yourself, I'm pretty sure I know one of the best goddamn person who can say anything and it will motivate you. And that is goddamn Bruce Lee, one of the best fighters ever. So if he doesn't motivate you, who the hell does? You know, I'm pretty sure every fighter has done a motivational speech. But I'm pretty sure Bruce Lee does the best, and here's a clip just to show you how good he bloody is. You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate, because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as, like, a Chinese way of fighting, or the, or the Japanese way of fighting, or whatever way of fighting. So styles tends to uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know, and, but if you do not have styles, you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style. Because style is a crystallization, you know, and that way it's a process of continuing growth. How can I be me? Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. To me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it is, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean, blinded by it, or I can show you some really fancy movement. To express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, that, my friend, is <laughs> very hard to do. So the Conor McGregor fight is tomorrow. So I will be showing you tiny clips of the fight. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, uh. Why am I in the bathroom? Okay, let's not be in the bathroom. Let's go into my room. PlayStation on. I need to record like 10 videos, so all of this is not just vlogs.
I'm gonna put Jake Paul in tags for a fuse. I'm sorry. But who isn't doing it now these days? Everyone's doing it. Keemstar's putting every, like 10 videos in a row. What's the bloody first thing that he writes? Jake Paul. And what like Fierce Banks and his assistant or some shit like that. <sighs> Gotta get them views though. Gotta get them views. So what shall I play? Rainbow Six Siege. Oh my god, I have not played that game in so long. <laughs> Wait, fix my hair first of all. Close enough. Okay. Yeah. Me, me and Dennis are going to the gym. I don't know if I've said that already. So, I guess I'll update you if any shit goes down, if I have to knock out Dennis, if he's too pussy to go to the gym, and then I have to record myself at the gym, just to prove that we small skinny white boy does go to the gym. Who wants to see something crazy? Open the window, put on toilet seat first of in case I fall into the toilet, do you not want that? And then, bang. He has just shit himself. That's like one of the best views and it's from my bathroom. And it's from a window that you can't even see. The window's out there. Explain. My bathroom. Ah, okay, sis. Yes. I'll update you if any shit goes down. See you later. Hi, Mum. Hi, Caleb. Mm. Okay. Hi, Mum. Oh, great, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting my brother because he's been a wee pain in the ass, you see. So, I hate him so much. Alright, up, up you go. Just in case you guys don't know, I am the king of submissions, so I probably will submit him. Close the door. He's also my slave. Right? Yeah. Alright, get up, get up in the corner. This is how fast it's gonna be. Right, go, go. Alright, go. Mom? Are you saying harsh too hard? I don't know. Go to the phone. <laughs> this window is me. Go. Am I stingy on the way? <laughs> Single with your underwear. My single with my uncle well. <laughs> I don't understand. So sticky pee pee. So we we'll have to wait until Dennis texts us. If he doesn't text us, he's probably dead. Do you think Dennis is dead? No. I think Dennis is dead. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think I'm Boop. stinking. Boop. Boop. I poke in your butt, Alfie. Boop. And I'm poking your face. Boop. I'm ah, no. you. Okay, everyone. This child here is crazy. He wants a round too. 
You're gonna die. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Wait. No, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. Move, hide, 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 hide. Hide. I'll play. Damn it! Damn it! Hello, everyone, it is crazy, David. Okay, I'm walking. Right, the gym was closed, so very, very, very sad news for me. You know, I was also closed all day tomorrow. So I'm just deciding. Oh, I, I, I was thinking in my head last night. I haven't been on my bike for ages. And then I was looking out the window and I saw you know, the big massive country road that goes out the back of my house. And I was like, I'll go cycle down this big massive country road to see where it leads to. So I'm, I'm deciding to go down there and cycle for quite a bit. And then, if it doesn't lead enough, I'll just turn around and cycle back. But if it does, I'll make sure the update is later on. I don't know, oh, that's a bit bad. Yeah, there you go. Oh, don't drop my bike. I don't know why, but I love places, like, are really cool, and, like, dirt tracks and nature, and all this. Like, I like everything to do with nature. I always used to be, like, a wee photographer for nature and all. But, yeah, I know, surprises you. Someone who doesn't leave the house likes nature. What? I don't know. It's a bit crazy. And this is the way I'm carrying my bike. I'm actually lifting up the front wheel and walking. And sometimes it's hitting the ground and just bouncing. Uh. <sighs> no, what confuses me? There's bike tracks up there where people have just rid down this. On what mindset? Would you have to cycle down this? Like it's scary. Oh, I love this. I don't know why. Is it? Look at this tree. Yeah, that's a cool tree. I move along. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, I don't know who cares. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll video again when I get to the road. Found babies. Quite a lot of them, tell you the truth. They're everywhere here. I want to eat one. I don't really like berries, but I'll be I'll be willing to do it for YouTube. Eh, should I go for this one? Actually, yeah, okay, we'll go for this one. Okay. Right, um, on, I'm on the road now, and I came across. I don't, I don't know if we can see it. No, it's can't. It's behind a tree, but it's like a. Abandoned house that me and Dennis have went in before and the window smashed and there's like a dead rat and we only went into one room because the next room had like a, a big hole in the ceiling, like a massive asshole and yeah, it was just creepy as fuck so me and Dennis were like, nah, we ain't gonna do that What time is it by the way? Let me check what time it is It is half eight and it's starting to get dark. And I'm out here in the middle of country road. With no lights. And my th phone is on 3%. Oh, I just hope I don't die. Okay. So I'm, I'm cycling up this road. And I come to this place called... Rumbrun. Rumbrunit. Road. <laughs> Is that the right? I can't say because yeah, I guess that's probably it. And it's like four houses. You know. It's a small place. My mum said if I follow this road, it'll probably take me around in a big circle that leads back to Jumor. I've been on this road for like ten, you know, half an hour with my bike. No sign of Jumor yet. So. I'm gonna head in a direction that most likely leads you to Jumor. If it doesn't lead you to Jumor, I'm pretty sure I can hear the A1, which is the motorway. I can hear the A1 running either it's behind me or to the left of it. So I'll just hop on that and cycle. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely the A1. Yeah. So, let's just hope I'm still alive. Just in case you guys can't see, I'll try to zoom in on where it is. Focus camera. Focus on the background. No, focus on the background. There you go. Those are the houses of Guys, I actually made it back live today. I actually thought I was gonna die because it was like pitch black whenever I was making it home. Um, but yes, shout out to Curtis Forbes. I know. Because I, I met him at the garage today and he asked for a shout out um, on my vlog. Like he actually wanted me to record him giving himself a shout out. But fuck off. Yeah, yeah fuck off. But I'll, I'll give you a shout out. I'll give you a shout out anyway. Because he tackled me once and he took me down surprisingly. Yeah, who cares? Also, yeah, we have no. What am I? Allison, shut up. Say it again slowly. English. Ah, be on Snapchat. Allison Reed04. Thank you. Love you. Send her dick pics. She's a slut. She's like a new Tammy Fern. <laughs> So, Alison, am I am I allowed to use you for the title? Okay. Yeah. How yeah. does how does the title sound? Um, slutty, but good enough. Hey, that's exactly what you are. You're slutty, but you're also good enough. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Alison. Are you okay? Thinking about this. <laughs> Shut up, hair. We buy in for duck up. No, I don't care. Stop being a sellout. Why does your face look funny? You tell you. What? Your face looks. Me what? Ah, uh, demonic. You look demonic. Oh dear. No. Do you guys enjoyed this episode? If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Um, subscribe, hit the notification button. I have not done this bloody outro for God knows how long. Wait, when was the last time I done an outro? I don't know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And like always, stay crazy.